Hello, I'm going to try to explain in this video how I fix my problem that I was getting with the Vanal system codes keep on popping up. Every time I'd run the codes, I'd have like numerous types of camshaft codes that always would uh, be similar or related to the Vanal systems and all that. Um, after taking out the, the, uh, the solenoids and cleaning them and or replacing them if, uh, if they was bad, whatever, um, and I would still get this light. And I even went in there and rechecked my camshaft timing and everything. And, uh, well, that's a pretty big job. But what my fix on it was finally was to replace, um, I have another car over here, a 535 twin turbo, which is the N54 engine. But there's two ceiling rings on the front of the camshaft. And, and the, uh, the factory ones are these old steel ones right here that clip together. And there's some Teflon ones here. Okay, and uh, how this vanal system works is when your engine, when it sig signals the solenoids, which is down here, um, it signals them to open or close or whatever, it allows oil to go up through the head, oil pressure, and come up through this area right here. Okay, when it comes through there, it goes through the front of the camshaft over here and goes into the vanals and allows that to uh, uh, move back and forth, whatever, for to advance the timing, what have you. But anyhow, with those, those old camshaft seals, it would allow oil pressure to come through there and all that. And it would allow the proper reading or the, uh, the, the, the adjustment on, on the camshaft to move the way it was. And how I determined that it was these camshaft seals is I drained like two quarts of oil out of the, uh, the engine and I replaced it with, with like four bottles of STP oil treatment. That's right, four bottles of STP oil treatment. And what that allowed is was to thicken up the oil pressure a little bit, or thicken the oil up to uh, take care of some of the clearance in here, the, the worn area. And when I uh, put that in there, then I, uh, I put my code scanner up there, I cleared the codes and all that, and as long as the engine ran, the codes never came back. But once I shut the engine off, the codes would come back on. Then I clear the codes and they'd stay off until I restart the engine. So I determined that from uh, just from uh, some other research and all that, that there was excessive clearance in this head. Because when they're new, uh, you know, you don't have that excess clearance. So once I replaced those camshaft seals that I pointed out before um, and put them in there, uh, once I extinguished the light, the light stayed off the check engine light for the codes and those codes have never ever came back again well anyhow i hope this video uh helps you out because uh this is something that mechanics and the dealership probably don't even know you know they just do you know throw new parts at it because you know these bmws these parts are very expensive and to uh go through the process of, of elimination like just replacing camshaft sensors crankshaft sensors, the, the solenoid valves and all that. And that's just the parts, then the labor on top of that. So if you have any questions or comments or whatever, please feel free to leave them in the, in the, in the comment section of this right there. And I um, uh, hope this uh, fixes your car. Thank you for your time. Out.